Dallas-Fort Worth is among the top job creators in the United States. When people are looking to invest their money from abroad, they want to see where the jobs are created. It's constantly growing. It's outpacing every other you know, metroplex in the, in the country in growth. So any, any investment in this area is positive. It's a very inexpensive place to do business. It's very convenient and very welcoming to people of, uh, of all races and cultures. The city of Dallas is a fantastic city. I'm responsible for all bilateral trade opportunities, cultural exchange opportunities between the city of Dallas and all of Africa. Two and a half years ago, myself and my dear friend and mentor, Tom Isago, he had just decided that we would try to figure out how to work with Algon, which is the area local governments of Nigeria. He then got with Godwin who was the PA for the Chief of Staff for the President at the time, and it's just been a process since then. This immersion was the first time we dealt with Algon and the Chairman of Nigeria. The collaboration still with Dallas is uh, to find means of uh, uh, transferring skills, uh, transferring programs, transferring uh, technologies that can be useful to the local people of Nigeria. The topics we discussed and the businesses visited by our delegates, it was a long thought out process. I had to figure out what would be the most effective for this first group coming. The first group coming was the most important group because it was the leaders of the six geopolitical zones of Nigeria that would determine if the rest, the other 774 chairmen, would come. So I wanted to make it a very diverse, very interesting visit for them all uh, to truly immerse them in business and commerce. The creator of the program, United States Democratic Immersion, couldn't have done a better job. It is a brilliant, innovative idea. The program in reality helps a lot. We come here and we see democracy in action, more especially when it comes to the policing, the way your police are handling issues, the technology they are using. It tells you right, right away when, you know, if you have a stolen car or a warrant or a sex offender. And the actual equipment they have at their disposal to do the job. I saw a lot. <laughs> I saw where in a room there are monotone almost everywhere in the state. If we see a crime that's happening and in progress, uh, we have our police radios that we notify the dispatcher and being a trained uh, ex-Dallas police officer, that helps in identifying crime and suspects so we can call in and get police officers to the scene. This is an amazing job, and I appreciate the way they are doing it, and they are committed to doing the job. There's so much information out there, social media, uh, you, know, uh, you know, just we're inundated with information every day. And someone has to compile that information, sift through it to see what is important to that city or that municipality, and that's what a fusion center does. And I think any country that wants to start a fusion center would benefit from that because they they have someone that's actually sifting through information that might find something that might be important to that community, that might prevent a tragic situation. The waste management will benefit uh, my people most because we need to evacuate the waste. The city of Dallas has operated this facility for 33 years. We opened in 1981. Prior to that, the city of Dallas dumped pretty much in any open hole they could find. The gas plant has a compressor that puts a negative pressure on the landfill or a vacuum on the landfill and that basically sucks all the gas out of the landfill. Nine million cubic feet a day. The city of Dallas, by, by virtue of the fact that this is a considered a green energy project, is able to uh, sell this gas to green energy users. The city of Dallas gets a royalty on all of their gas sales. We get one-eighth royalty on their sales. About two million dollars a year. I'm impressed the way uh, they manage waste in this country and I hope uh, we will do the same in Nigeria. 
the most interesting one that uh, affects me is the mobile hospital because if you look at the way things are moving in Nigeria most uh, of our areas are too much in the interior and they are lagging behind in terms of medical facilities even though the present administration of Bochi State has done a lot in terms of uh, health facilities but all the same we need an improvement because by the time you get like a mobile hospital or a mobile clinic it can go to the interior and improve the lives of our citizens. When you begin to develop a neighborhood, you have to have neighborhood planning, have to have the appropriate neighborhood zoning. ICDC is a community-based nonprofit development corporation. Uh, which provides uh, housing opportunities, in particular homeownership opportunities for individuals, families with modest incomes. Uh, ICDC also is a nonprofit uh, uh, corporation that provides business opportunities. The delegates were uh, asking me questions about how we operate, etc. So it's the exchange of knowledge and expertise. Number two, though, uh, is the exchange of whatever resources that might exist. For example, while we were here, uh, we have a, an incubator, a business incubator that produces leather products. And as a result of the tour, what we realize is that, is, is that Nigeria is one of the capitals in the world related to, to leather. And so, so therefore, it, it, that's an obvious relationship that can be developed. So that's another purpose, is to try to develop uh, relationships uh, that can be beneficial, mutually beneficial. Civitas manages the uh, City of Dallas Regional Center on behalf of the City of Dallas and we're so pleased to host this delegation from Nigeria today not only to talk about uh, Nigerian investment in Dallas but also talk about ways uh, in which Dallas and Ni the various cities in Nigeria that they represent can collaborate to make both places better. The City of Dallas is an international city and there are people from all over the world who come here or are interested in coming here. And one of the ways to accomplish that is uh, to invest here through the EB-5 program that the City of Dallas Regional Center offers. The EB-5 program is a program that permits foreign investors to invest $500,000 in low to moderate income areas to create American jobs. And if the American jobs are created as part of the project that they invest in, they receive a conditional green card that goes permanent once the American jobs are proved up for a period of two years. So it's, it's really a win-win for both the foreign investor and for the United States because we are, generate economic activity that creates American jobs. One of the things that we like about the, uh, the Immigration Services EB-5 program is that it allows people to invest here uh, in the United States, but more importantly, it allows people to develop personal relationships because once you develop a personal relationship, it's much easier to invest in a, in a country that's 10,000 miles away. What I would like, uh, if this American government will assist us to improve in Bochi State, particularly the agriculture, because that is what most of our people are lagging behind. We can get a lot of fertilizer, we can get a lot of uh, other agricultural inputs from this country. West Africa, Texas Chamber of Commerce, we are focused on 12 sector areas, which includes education, healthcare, women business, ICT, information communication technology, finance, oil and gas, renewable energy, agriculture. These are areas that we are focused on. The chamber is comprised of businesses that are coming from a variety of sector areas. And these businesses are looking for international partners, West African partners. And so they bring with them wealth of knowledge, wealth of experience, uh, and money. We've had a very useful meeting and uh, that's going to build a foundation for future collaboration between Argonne and the West African Texas uh, Chambers. We hope that uh, with their assistance, we can develop the capacities of our small enterprises, our local businesses and our communities, and give them opportunities to access finance, opportunities to equally uh, learn from the sources of uh, small businesses in America. There's a lot going on in Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> it's all over the place. 
Senator Warren was, was there to uh, represent the state of Texas, obviously. We are here to really develop the state of Texas economy. We are also here to develop the West African economy. And so having that partnership between the state of Texas and also working to increase partner, our partnership with other West African countries and government entities, that's very, very important to the state of Texas. Anything that makes the economy grow is very, very important for the, uh, to the senator, and we would delight to have him there to show support. We were exposed to so many things that will benefit us. We'll try to see that we get it back to Nigeria uh, and maybe to uh, encourage some of our colleagues to come and see for themselves. America is, uh, is a fully democratic state and that is what we need in Nigeria. I would encourage all the local government chairmen to be prepared and to be open to all that this program has to offer because they stand to gain much. I found all the program highly interesting. All the program we have attended ever since we came into the city of Dallas surpassed 70% from the city hall to the department of police to White and Wiggins senior citizens apartment to Civitas, West African and city of Dallas Chamber of Commerce and all sort of program that we have attended. I can tell you that all of them are something that we need to get back home and think of and see how we can improve our community, our state, and our nation. My first time being in Dallas Cowboy Stadium, and honestly, it's amazing what I can see today. The organizers, I have to congratulate them for doing an amazing job because we come here and we see democracy in action. What I need from the community with regard to these chairman coming through, uh, an additional 770, 72 or 71 coming through, is support from major corporations, support from their CEOs and vice presidents. When I make the call to be able to say yes so that they will be one of the groups that people can sit down with and learn from, that's really what I need. I need the support of the community and always I get my continued support from my council members and my director um, of economic development for sure because without him, none of this happens. When we get back, we're going to be addressing some issues which are has to do with environment, about portable water supply. So I think uh, our visit is going to be very beneficial to our people. I think that this will awaken a lot of uh, business interests uh, in terms of what the real opportunities are, not just here in Metroplex, but also what the real opportunities are in Nigeria that we haven't begun to broker. So the representation that is present here, representing the, that part of the continent, has opened my eyes, and certainly I think the others who were present at this, this luncheon this afternoon realize that there are no limits on what we can achieve. It is extremely attractive for people to invest their money in one of the most vibrant economies in the United States, and that's here in Dallas-Fort Worth. We've been meeting the people. It's the most fun thing you can possibly do. You develop friendships, kinships, relationships, and that leads to success, but it's fun success.